<clears throat> Hi guys. How are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 6th December 2023. My name is T S V Raghavan and I live in Chennai Tamil Nadu India This is my spiritual vlog on YouTube Har Dan H A R D A N Har Dan Hari Bol T R S V Nectar N E C T A R Nectar In this particular vlog in all my previous videos we have been trying to discuss about the knowledge and information that we have gleaned through the study of spiritual books scriptures contemplation on the material universe and meditation on the spiritual universe this particular video in this vlog is no exception to that rule in fact it is a mere continuation of all that we have been doing in all my previous videos kindly subscribe to this vlog and press the bell icon so that i may keep reminding you of all my previous present and future videos so let us continue with the topic of discussion for today's video in the past few videos we have been trying to analyze in detail the perennial importance of a term called mind in the, the psyche and the life of every human living entity whether male or female in this process we have been trying to analyze how this subtle body called mind or subtle instrument called mind is able to influence the mass of tissue called brain which is in the cranium of a gross body of every human living entity by now we know that here the term mind includes the etheric body of five senses namely sight hearing smell taste and touch the astral body of mind of feelings and emotions and the causal body of intelligence and logic all these three types of bodies are made up of a first element of the material world called ether that is the reason why they are subtle in nature and naturally invisible to the eyes of the gross body of a human living entity the gross body of a human living entity is the fourth layer that envelops the spirit soul of an individual living entity 
we all know by now that when the unevolved a raw individual spirit soul tries to lord it over this huge infinite and very powerful material world thinking that it is superior to this material world then resultantly this spirit soul which is individual and minuscule gets in touch with this material world this material world is huge and it gets visibly irritated when this individual raw unevolved spirit soul gets in touch with this material world as soon as this happens this material world surrounds this spirit soul with four layers of material body of which three are made up of ether and hence subtle and the fourth is called the gross body which is visible to the naked eye of a human a living entity and which is made up of four earthly elements namely air fire water and earth when these four layers envelop that individual minuscule unevolved raw spirit soul this spirit soul loses its identity as just a spirit soul and dons a new identity called a living entity after some time of this happening this living entity in variably gets in touch with a cycle of endless infinite births and deaths in this material world in various species and this gives this raw spirit soul a new experience in life these bitter sweet experiences as a living entity in the material world make that spirit soul evolve mature experience and more mellow we all know that this is a very long drawn process and it needs a lot of analysis and discussion when a living entity begins its cycle of endless births and deaths it begins as a single cell from there it graduates into an algae then an amoeba then a weed then a wild growth grass creeper shrub plants trees worms insects reptilians amphibians birds bees and finally as one among the 400000 species or categories of human species when a soul gets evolved enough to take take birth in one of these 400000 categories of human species its destiny or karma begins before that it is not evolved enough to have its own destiny or karma however it has some conscious some subconscious and super conscious memories of its birth in various species in this material world only when it comes to humans its 
karma begins working and it is here that his or her mind gets activated the mind gets activated in the sense that the three subtle bodies starts giving vibrations to this mass of tissue called a brain in the gross body of a living entity when they do so this brain processes these vibrations according to the level of maturity of a living entity and then selects a few of them and turns them into a material juice which is percolated down the gross body of that particular living entity the living entity acts according to the quality and the maturity and experience of that particular juice percolated down by the brain that is precisely the reason for the variety of categories of human species in this world whether they are male or female male and female themselves are different categories but beyond this the level of destiny karma intellectual maturity experience choice preferences atmosphere surroundings peer pressure kinship and other such factors play a large role in satisfying vibrations from these subtle bodies on an average 70% of humanity in the society at any given time in a lifetime selects only vibrations from the etheric body of senses only 20% that is 20% of the society selects vibrations from both the etheric body of senses and the astral body of mind only a minuscule 5% choose the vibrations of the causal body of intelligence and logic along with the vibrations from the astral body of mind and the etheric body of senses for being transformed into a juice that is percolated by the brain into the gross body of that particular living entity this makes that living entity act according to the vibrations from all the three bodies of subtle kind which have been sending vibrations incessantly into the brain of that living entity this is precisely the reason why we have the masses and the classes in a particular society or in every community in the international society there are commoners there are specialists there are bonded laborers unskilled laborers skilled labor artisans carpenters plumbers etc teachers educated people lecturers professors lawyers businessmen policemen soldiers etc and ultimately we have high class intellectuals 
who make up this society and inhabit it with people who are very very intellectually mature experienced and superior to the mundane society they are either material or spiritual such people make for tycoons magnates scientists discoverers intellectuals philosophers saints religious people monks rishis maharishis sages demigods and so on that is the reason for the coloring of this society not all human beings are similar when it comes to saintliness or spiritualism we should know that there are five types of devotion to the supreme personality of godhead they are known as sant bhakti or saintly devotion das bhakti that is a devotion of a servant of god pitra bhakti parental devotion towards the supreme personality of godhead mitra bhakti friendly love and devotion for the supreme personality of godhead and ultimately vatsalya bhakti or conjugal love that is to act as a lover of the supreme personality of godhead all the five broad types are devotion to the same supreme personality of godhead who is ready to take any form of devotion from a living entity and a spiritualist saintly love parental love friendly love these three loves or devotions are applicable to every devotee whether he or she is a male or female saintly love means those saints like meera bai or sant tukaram or purandar dasa who love to eulogize the supreme personality of godhead through their own psalms and songs parental love is where a individual devotee feels that the supreme personality of godhead is his or her own baby or child in such a case his or her devotion is total towards that particular child cases like raja dasharatha rani kaushalya rani sumitra rani kaikeyi raja vasudev raja nand devaki yashoda etc or where the devotee feels that he has or she has a parent parental devotion towards the supreme personality of godhead then comes mitra bhakti the pandavas and draupadi shared a friendly love with lord krishna who was an incarnation of the supreme personality of godhead but that does not reduce in any way the utter devotion for the lord this is actually a friendly devotion for the supreme personality of godhead now come the last two first servant of god 
this is one type of devotion where the devotee wants to take up her Herculean task in, for the sake of God to serve this humanity. Lord Hanuman is a very good example of a devotion as a servant of God. Lord Hanuman, through his intelligence, strength, and occult and clairvoyant powers, could serve Lord Rama, the incarnation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, with ultimate satisfaction. However, I hasten to add that though there may be very rare exceptions, this particular type of devotion is more suitable to a male devotee. Usually, some male devotees who do, don't want saintly love, parental love or friendly love wish to serve God as his servant or slave. It is a relationship where the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the master and the devotee is the slave. Then comes the final type of love. It is called conjugal love. It is both platonic as well as infatuated. Infatuated may be temporary, whereas platonic devotion is permanent. However, this type of devotion is more suitable to a female devotee because here this particular devotee wants to consider God as his or her lover. You may appreciate that because the specimen of Supreme Personality of Godhead is male, so we cannot expect a male human living entity to consider him as a lover. On the other hand, female devotees can accept him gladly as their own boyfriend or lover. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is gracious enough to accept any form of devotion from any loving human living entity who is a devotee of the Lord. According to that, the Supreme Personality of Godhead appears to that devotee. He may appear as God, Master, child, friend or lover to different forms of devotees. None is superior to the other. It is the choice of that devotee which type of devotion he or she wants to express towards the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Here the mind and its vibrations come to the fore. Devotion as per your own category is possible only when your mind, your conscious, subconscious and superconscious mind can generate vibrations which are transmitted to your own mass of tissue called brain in your gross body. According to your own devotion, you send messages to the brain which selects them 
processes them and percolates them into your gross body so that your gross body acts according to them. I mentioned somewhere before that of this society, there are five percent who may be considered cream de la cream in this society, where of the five percent, some are material and some are spiritually inclined. These spiritually inclined people are generally ardent devotees. There may be exceptions where a person may both be material as well as spiritual. In other words, he or she may be going on with his or her life, life and take all this as an assignment from the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Anyway, we know here that when a person becomes spiritual or material in nature and he or she reaches that 5% category, his or her vibrations from the mind are categorized or qualified to enter the brain to be processed accordingly. In other words, such people are far more experienced, matured, educate, educated, cerebrally inclined, capable and with a lot of capacity to serve God as his devotees in the society. Such people not only serve God, but they prove as a role model for the existing masses in the society which can eulogize them or follow them or act according to their whims and fantasies to be like them. This is a slow process of evolvement. People reach the 5% category not easily. They also once belonged to the masses from where they chose their role model from that 5% category, emulated that particular person, taught themselves according to the cerebral faculties of that 5% category role model and designed or made their karma according to such teaching from that role model. It is thus that a person slowly gets matured from the masses to the astral body and then ultimately to the causal body. We must all take a leaf from the lives of such great men, both material and spiritual, who have taken a lesson of spiritualism or material devotee, devotion for the Supreme Personality of Godhead and designed their own lives in this material world accordingly so that they could reach self-realization, ultimately liberation from this endless cycle of birth and death, and finally get delivered to the Supreme Personality of Godhead as an enlightened and totally evolved spirit soul. This is all I wanted to say in this particular video. Kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this particular matter. Please give me your own 
expert views, thoughts and ideas so that I may blend everything together for the sake of this society. Before concluding, let me remind you that I am also a published author with Amazon Kindle and paperback. I write on spiritualism, fiction and assorted subjects. Spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject. Till we meet in my next video, it is good morning from TSV Raghavan.